Um, Pro, do you have the star out and the star in between these slides? Ira says without it, it's not a slideshow. The star? Yeah, she wants a star out and a star in. Wait, she's watching us with us? Yes. Wow. Well, like, is she, like, actually? No, but, like, she is right there looking in the direction of it. We're gonna need you to get your mom on since she's gonna be playing with us. I can do that. <laughs> that adult, I'm joking. He's not joking. And you so get your dad here. <laughs> All right, we'll move on uh, again. We'll just make this real quick. Uh, moving on to the itinerary. Today we're gonna talk about uh, some results from our our poll, our new website, Chronos Three that's coming out. A little bit of, of other info and pretty much a Q and A, like a debate on what we want to do with some of the ranks of the guild and donations and things like that. So moving on to slide three, which is the main alt results. Something that um, we kind of wanted to see. There's So currently, there's as you'll see in the totals, 30 people total. Now some of those might, I don't know if they're going to still be with us. Who knows when the time actually comes. Um, but it should at least give us kind of a understanding of where we're at. Uh, 19 people for mains said they're 100% sure about their choice. And some are on the brink of 85%. GSO's BS answer. What? Yeah, this is taken directly from... Okay. You changed my answer without asking. I didn't change it. <laughs> As you'll notice in the, the uh, bottom left, what commitment level will you be giving? Yeah, that one is you. That one with nine hours is hard. <laughs> no, I'm not interested in helping. I thought that was Jay Cutler. And the GMT plus one. Oh my gosh. Who put my large rank zone time? I think your uh, numbers are off. I, I actually registered like 18 times. Yeah, I deleted all of them. All of them? Nah. You only registered three times. You're what funny part, though. What part all right, who's got three how many? are you looking at? Oh, it doesn't say who were the people. Mm, okay. Yeah. The way it was set up, it was really annoying to... And how, hmm. I'm confused. We have six. So six, eighty-five percent sure Fury Warriors. I don't think what so. What is the two hundred percent sure categories, and how come they have different numbers? They're more sure. What do you mean? One's for mains and one's for alts. Oh, I was just looking at the alts one. Oh, oh. Sorry, the alts one, the first one is main alt, and the second is second alt. What is this, the fucking Hobbit? Pretty much. Third breakfast and second breakfast? <laughs> <laughs> well, most of us are going to have multiple alts, right? Hey. Okay, so that's what you meant by that, okay. Yeah. So I mean, it'll be like, they're changing. It, be it's some? been there for like months. Oh, like four months. Website? On the new one? On TeamSpeak! Maybe if you hang out with this once in a while. No, Don't it's, uh... look at the links. There's three 100% sure warrior tanks. Yeah. Are you one of the 100% sure? Nope. Is Val one of them? Nope. It's, uh, Jerk and Viral and Michael. I doubt Jerk is gonna. Well, we'll we'll address Don't that when it comes to it. But I'm I'm just putting it out there. I'm laughing at it already. Yeah. Who's the eighty-five percent sure? Warrior? That's Val. Who the fuck is That's the Val? eighty-five six eighty-five percent sure Furies? Because none of them are me. Because mine was a joke. 
What did you pick? I he said it depends, depends on what everybody else is playing. For everything. Um, we could dig into it and see. Is this for... Like, one I think it might be... Retail? This is for retail. Oh, well, real quick. Uh, Central Time, Shaman Taylor, uh, Hardcore, but I'm flaky as fuck. <laughs> it's a good thing you don't need to buy gems. <laughs> hardcore, flaky as fuck? Hardcore leveling, but I'm flaky as fuck. Okay. Because of his work. Why don't you just quit your job again? Right, pay, money. Pay, pay my bills. Yeah. Right. Money. Okay. Material objects. Anyhow, we're gonna move on. Like uh, food. This gives you <laughs> at least a basic idea of like. I guess we can go through this real quick and and see what is what, glaring gaps. Mages with glaring zero. Games. Yeah, mages. I think Val is gonna officially do a mage. Yep, he told me. Mages at one. Warlocks at one. Both Jerk join the server. Oh, there's the poll. Jerk joined um, your channel Diablo 3 on the didn't server. Didn't Chubbins say that he was on the fence? Yeah, What's he was... What's Landy thinking about playing? I'm not sure. Hunter and Mage, probably. And who are the three 100% sure hunters? <laughs> what? You didn't see that. The one I think was wild. I believe... Unless Malar? Pro's thing is, like, she might be playing a priest. Well, that's a... That's up in the air, though. I'm not too sure what's definitive with that. You can't hear me, can you? Now I can. I oh, there you go. Now I can hear you. Um... Welcome, Jerk, to the panel. Hey, Jerk. Jerk's here. What up? Oh, I thought he died. Who died? Who died? Message received. So what'd you say? Who died? Who died? Message received. That's what you get for disappearing on this bitch. Okay. Orin says message received. 100% pathetic says 100% hunter. Malar okay. says 85% hunter. Is Malar still uh, playing with this guild? Torque says 100% hunter. So like Torque the shaman. So for some people like people that have disappeared on us. We don't know if they're coming back or not, but they have filled this out probably many months ago. Okay, so there's a chance that they might be coming back. Yeah. This is just good for kind of like a preemptive recruitment once Classic gets announced. Yeah. We can start spamming on the Blizzard forums with our guild recruitment and kind of be outlined on what we're glaring and missing, such as mages and warlocks. Like, definitely don't want to walk into, like, I know melee is still going to be supreme until they can get their hit gear, but... Yeah. Rather have them instead of look for them. We'll talk about more on a few slides from now about that too. So I'll move on to the next slide. Um, if you were here last month, we were voting on website name toxicgaming.us is what we voted on. We got it up and running. Uh, it's in its initial infantile stages. Uh, yeah, here. All right, let's get to the meat and potatoes. Love it. Yeah. Next slide. Chronos 3. This <laughs> this is something initially, like several months ago, we'd be like, no, vanilla, you know, wait for classic. Not interested. But the itch has come back. And... Pro has crabs. I guess one of the issues... We... Okay... There hasn't been any classic WoW news as of yet. There's been a couple like really sketchy leak things that you know may or may not have like be anything, but even that was in like there's no real news. So with that said, there could still be a 
pretty good chunk of time before Classic comes out. And I think GSOs want to say, like, you know, why wouldn't we just play something that we actually enjoy playing then? Here, here. At least, um, now, it still stands, like, if, if Blizzard says, hey, we're releasing in three months, from that moment on, you know, pretty much all WoW, I, I would suggest highly that everyone just takes a step back from any sort of WoW game. It just gives your, like, mind a break from it which is yeah, what i'm gonna be doing miserable not playing it yeah that's what we've been doing like last month it's been pretty terrible we tried to play wrath it was fun initially but we got to the point where uh, we were already like out gearing nax and aldwar and because of all the stuff already out on wrath it was pretty pretty lame i guess like with people just being like super geared and just able to wreck you without skill so pretty much gave up on that for the time being but anyhow uh k3 comes out march 31st which is a saturday uh one kind of cool cool thing is if you do do groups there's not a penalty yeah it's a group experiences uh who knows we're how much they actually do it but it's gonna be better like so maybe actually like group dungeon leveling might be a thing instead of you know a full dungeon giving half a level it might that be more yeah. yeah which would be really nice so one thing you don't have mentioned here that's kind of a big thing for a bunch of people is uh chronos recently did a bunch of changing with boss internal cooldowns um for lots of encounters um mostly molten core but they reworked so some abilities aren't like uh they'll just do it just because they have to do it at this time they'll do it if certain parameters are met i.e like somebody's close and they does this ability or uh they also reduce the cooldown on some of the abilities so it's posted on their thing which bosses were affected and how it's been changed but it's just something to note like so it, it's kind of a neat experience it'll be it'll be a different entering experience for molten core just with these changes it won't be the the cookie cutter boss we're expecting so more or less you'll have to look for cues in the world instead of relying on like a add-on like dbm yeah like uh baron is a big example because he has a reduced cooldown on basically all of his abilities so i read like you blow up faster you'll more people will get affected by the the ability but they then also fix how much damage he does with his uh ramp up when he's doing his burst so they fixed i don't know they did they've been doing a lot of fixing on the server they they've been trying to boost themselves or boast themselves as being the the best server basically for vanilla that's what they're trying to go for anyways whether they are or not that's kind of irrelevant <laughs> because like pro said the second that wow classic is announced for a release date you know, roughly three months out or whatever we're going to be dropping whatever we're doing or at least i will be I, I don't plan on burning myself out maybe not three months i might go a little bit longer but at least it, i'll give myself at least a good solid three or four days <laughs> i do some pvp here and there yeah, and that was one thing I was going to mention too, when, if for on this Kronos thing, I, I myself really would like to do more PvP uh, this time around, so if people are interested in that, I'm going to be trying to organize PvP with the guild. Uh, I Obviously we can branch into bringing random stuff, but initially I, I would like to do it with the guild, so if enough people are up and wanting to do PvP and stuff, because I think that will be important come Classic well, uh, for some of our with, gear. On that note, do you think... Um... I was thinking, like, okay, 1 to 60, you get ganked a whole lot, right? Even if you're, like, one of the, the first ones, you'll still get ganked a lot, especially with a lot of people on a server. Do you think it would be worthwhile to try to PvP, like, even as we're leveling, maybe to see, like, you might well, not have a certain spec, or you might have not have, like, a certain spell... So might... Well, yeah, for people that don't already, like myself, who are in, like, perfectly fluid with leveling up a warrior, like, they don't know exactly what to, like, sure, it'll help me doing that stuff, but people that obviously know what they're doing, 
I don't suggest you start problems with people because you can probably just go and finish the quest. And... Yeah. But yeah, well, for sure. I think I it'd be more like a group people. thing than anything. But I guess if you're like, you know, five v one PvP, that's not you're not learning anything from it. Um. Also on here, this is not mentioned. If people haven't looked at anything for Chrono Three, there is a set timeline. Uh, set release date for everything and they also have a specific um, itemization they changed some of the things so the people who played on Kronos 2 um, this is kind of applies more to you guys because you kind of remember or played on Kronos 1 because you know how things drop and things kind of dropped in your state of their highest item state just to start the second it started dropping and some items were dropping or were obtainable long before they ever should have been able to and they've gained a lot of those things, however, when they do finally drop, they will be given their highest stats still, but they're gated now, at least to the point where you're not going to have over ability, like overpowered items. Message received. Yeah. But yeah, it should be fun. Filter. But of course, this is not mandatory. Uh, this is something to do. All right. Originally, we said we would just be leveling, but you know us. You know we'll, we'll probably, most likely, we'll we'll branch into some sort of either structured rating or something, but maybe not as hardcore. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Yeah. Definitely we'll see. Just have some fun. I want to. I want to learn. Jay Cutler Lol disconnected from your channel. Diablo three from the server. Of like what what needs to happen so i can lead those later when we have classic and we can just basically lead our own pvp groups so people who are really good at pvp by all means please do you think hand. it should be more like use chronos as a, a dry run no pun intended verdi well um, yes and no because i really don't want to put that kind of effort the amount of like but i'm down to mass recruit at the start get a bunch of people in the guild just to have people and and work out some sort of you know, i meant more on like individual basis like should i like i know what i want to play in classic should i play that and try to like risk burning myself out on that specific class or or should i just do i guess that's up whatever to i want to have fun at i i would still pl i personally i'd pick what you're going to play in classic if you i don't know depends on how many times i guess you've leveled it or how, how you're feeling towards it it's going to be their own I personally would play what you're going to play, get the best with it, maximize your race to 60 and itemize Holy Holy priest, bro! <laughs> yeah. Alright. Cool. Move on. Yep, going on to slide 6. Um, There's a couple other infos. Randy does have a received. server up and running now. Um with the potential to hold a few games like so if we want to host like uh forest or rust or something there's possibility there arc uh battlefield one on the note of money in randy's server uh one how do we help randy with that and two what is the status on teamspeak money so TeamSpeak is sixty dollars every six months. So it's one hundred twenty a year. The Minecraft server we just got is one thirty a year, and the website will be like one thirty a year. Actually, I think it's ten dollars a month, so one twenty a year. So you know that basically comes down to like if you add everything up you're talking like 400 bucks 500 bucks a year well i don't really want to donate to a minecraft server but i would help with the the minecraft server is paid for for the year yeah um well we could move to uh discord no and get rid of that charge well i'd i'd prefer team speak i think you can move to Discord, I'm not going. Discord does have a lot of niceties. Even, I can't even get it to run on my computer, so... And Verity has donated towards the TeamSpeak as well. So... 
She but yeah, I'm not not asking anyone for money, but at the end of the day, it does cost to maintain a healthy community. So if you were thinking about it, there are links on the website where you can help out. Um, everything's paid for like for the next few months, so you don't have to worry about it. But any any help is is good. Um, we've been playing D3. Uh, for those that played, we like a lot of us got on the leaderboards for this new season. I think Tanny is still in the like top hundred or something for solos. It's kind of cool stuff. Uh, if you do have uh, a desire to help, like with the website or with just whatever, like tips or knowledge that you have, let, let me know and get with me. Um, no classic WoW news yet. There was two leaked things. One was supposedly the current beta of Battle for Azeroth got data mined and there was vanilla WoW, like classic WoW stuff found in the data mining. So there's potential that it might be you have to buy the entire, like the new Battle for Azeroth game in order to play like the server feature. Um, but you know, who knows? It's. I mean, we already knew that was going to happen. Yeah, more than well, likely it makes sense, but... The ramifications that I took from it would be that if that is in fact the case, the Classic WoW would release at the same time Battle for Azeroth would release, which means that it would be about the year away that they said. But it would also mean that it was it's all benefit for Blizzard if they did it that way, because well, it's subscription directly for Battle for Azeroth. It's Battle for Azeroth is slated Azeroth. to release in September, I thought. Yeah. So that's like roughly a year from when they announced it. Oh. Yeah, I guess they did announce it in, I think it was November or yeah, October. So roughly a year. So um, uh, that was my take from, from that would be that the, the game, the classic itself, would get released at the same time because it was data mined that it was a server option, uh, not so much a separate game, but just a, an option within Battle for Azeroth, but it, within the game itself. And that would make sense because that would require people like like me, I have my classic WoW CDs still, and there's only four, by the way. And so, I, like, I wouldn't be able to give that argument, hey, Blizzard, I already have this game, I have the CDs, I have my PIN number still. They'd say, oh, I'm sorry, you need to buy this new game, because it's a new platform and the new... Anyhow. But it's all speculation, yeah. really, at this point, still. Yeah, there are no confirmed leaks, they're just leaks. It's Reddit stuff and the other... All right, we'll move on to the next page uh, for data mining and gathering. Uh, probably not the right time to do it, but if you have anything you think that should be part of the guild application in terms of like maybe a specific question, uh, now would be the time to talk or, or poke me later or get with me later or get with someone later. Hear that, guys? He wants you to poke him later. Yeah. Because I think what it comes down to is, you know, we're all adults, and we all filled out applications, and I think application is kind of the most important thing. Now, whether that is, uh, could be like a mock interview as well, but actually getting to know people through their application usually you know, is a telltale sign of like if people will stick it out or if, like what kind of character they'll be. So I think we're pushing towards the more, uh, not intimidating, but longer. Professional. And professional, yeah. Because, you know, like there's plenty of people like, oh, I have to fill an application. No, thank you. You know, like those kind of people don't even want to. Mm -hmm. I don't know. What's okay, the point? You can go join Casual Friday, and yeah. we'll see you later. Message received. Are we doing three-day raid weeks once we hit 60 on Classic? Yeah, I think the initial bursts will be 
more than likely whatever we can do like whoever's there let's just try to go 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 um we will have our three day set schedule i don't really foresee bumping it up to four days but who knows but three days yeah but we also like like we definitely want to have an impact and have uh we want to be that guild because you know there's gonna be tons of servers so we want to be that like have the world bosses message received. for the most part on our own message received yeah and when it comes to actual raids buffs everything it's a hundred percent or you're not invited basically and the idea is we have a, a big bench, which brings us to the next question. Um, how many people should we actually try to like maintain at all times? Like on all these other servers, we've been pretty hesitant on going beyond 40 or just not had the Message option. Received. Um, but inevitably people, you know, can't make a raid, they're sick, they got birthdays, they got family, things happen all the time. And when you're talking 40 people, like it's bound to be like one or two people every single raid out of the 40. So it, I personally think, um, we should strive to have at least like at least 50 people as like raider status and beyond 60. i was gonna say 55. yeah 60 with the keeping in the mindset that we take the alt raid extremely serious and people that don't get into the main raid those mains will go to the alt raid right. and then have yeah. priority there's issues that come with that like let's say we're doing blackwing layer and we kill up to Chromag and then the next day we come in and we're short a person and we bring in someone who was going to come to the all raid I, I guess it's not really a big deal because I'm sure you'd rather be in the main raid than the alt raid pretty much at all times well like the the again like this is just how I'm feeling towards it like we're, we're not dealing with the same community that we're used to be dealing with. We're, we're not limited to the people that we're stuck with on the server and it diminishes. We were, there's going to be multiple servers. I, I don't know for sure if they're going to integrate the cross, you know, you know, transfer your character, but if they don't change it, power leveling is a completely plausible thing, but maintaining an MC blackwing layer all raid that can clear both just as fast as the main raid really, well maybe not just as fast once the main raid isn't doing like AQ or something, but uh, well they're both doing Huge that recruitment content, tool. It, it'll, be, it'll be really easy to keep that and completely maintain that fairly, fairly simple, as long as we keep that the officers and everybody understand that they need to be part of this and that alt raid needs to be just as structured as the main raid or it's going to be garbage so that may mean that instead of raiding three nights a week you, you may actually be raiding closer to four or five nights a week right with the main with the alt raid so that's why when that's why i wanted to have the talk well we could do it now but i was hoping when we had more time to talk about how people feel about going, how, how they feel about going towards raiding. Like, are, are they going into this as, you know, let's really experience Classic WoW and, and have fun and have fun with friends and stuff, or do they want to take this serious and, and go hardcore and get the most out of what they're going to do in this content, which is kind of how I'm feeling. Um, if I'm going to be doing this the way, like, the only reason I never did it that way before was mostly because, it you know, it was pretend. It could be taken away at any time. It's not for real, but if this is an actual Blizzard game which is being taken seriously world of logs everything being serious i i would rather take there's it completely okay hardcore. so here's the thing at this point when it comes down to it i know that there's at least five of us that have expressed um 
at that point also wanting to stream. Yeah. Streaming that fine. content at some point also could eventually, you know, like mean sponsorships and guild sponsorships even. So Yeah, if, if I'm okay Wild with possibly, hardcore. Yeah. yeah. If, and I think if he hardcore. says Message received. No, I interrupted you. Sorry, you can go. Oh no. Message received. I was just saying, if is a funny statement. Yeah, like I well, even what you're saying, like staying in, to strive for the top five hundred to one. Message like, received. I honestly thinking, honestly, yeah, exactly. I think we can be higher than that with, with what I'm we in. can bring. It's the problem was is it was the the unwillingness to basically be that guild or be that Message type of received. style like yeah it requires I, a little I'm, more anal a little more uh checks and balances how mike really wants to be well yeah how i how i really am like it, and from the members too though it requires you to not get like bent out of shape when basically you're called out or or if someone says well, why aren't you doing this or why did you do that? Or hey, you screwed up. Go sit out. We're bringing someone else in. Yeah, and I, well, and, and the thing was as well as we didn't have somebody that wanted to to do that, to be that person that says that thing. And I have no problem doing that again. I did that for a long time. <laughs> I did the well, I'm doing it in the way that's not like message received gonna make the person cry. You wanted to do that. We never had the numbers to do that. Well, yeah, like so. Like, I'm more than willing to do it. I know GSO is more than willing to tell it how it is. And that's really how it's going to be. There's going to be more people like that in the guild. Not necessarily people that... It doesn't necessarily mean that there's going to be people coming in that are going to be negative or anything like that. But I just mean there's going to be more people that we want with the same mentality of... And that's... I'm, okay, I'm speaking for everyone. I shouldn't. I'm just... That's how in my mind. If we did go the hardcore route, we'd, have, we'd be surrounding ourselves with more like-minded people who want to push content that way. The people who want to put the effort in, the people who want to farm for the guild, the people who look at it as this is a you know a chance to be in the top guild on the respected server, the top guild North America, or the top guild whatever we end up being. But I, I see absolutely no reason how we can't be the top guild, at least in our server, very very bare minimum. Is is uh, Jerk is bringing up a fair point, but. Jerk, that was back when none of us knew what we were doing and nobody knew the fights. We all know the fights. We all know what to expect and what to bring to be over fucking prepared for everything. Unless it's a uh, 9.1 talents that uh, I have actually no fucking clue what I'll be actually doing. I'll have to learn it. Yeah. I never played a warrior, never mind a melee. You're extremely quiet, so I can't even hear you at all. You just do the same thing, but without shield slime. Oh, okay. Well, I, I, I thought threat was changed. The the way threat mechanic worked, I thought that was all changed. Because like, most of those long hours, like five nights a week, six hours a night, eight hours a night, whatever your guild did, were was progression. Like throwing your face against bosses that you FPS didn't know. They... <laughs> Well, some of it. Nobody knew. Some of it we knew. Like, some. I, there was videos know, out there. Then there was, yeah, there were people they known. couldn't get out of out of Baron's bomb and blew up half the raid 90% of the night. Well, yeah, and you got, got throttled. Debuff, you get a debuff and get 5 FPS and not be able to move and explode yeah. the raid. Like, there was different reasons why the content was hard. Hardware was definitely different. And it was different. videos, but there wasn't, like. Or enjoying the It server. wasn't the way it is now. And it wasn't, like the day after the content comes out right or before the content even or enjoy comes out. your channel diablo yeah three just on the, the server. just the fact that we have no um we're not held back by our hardware or our internet anymore at all like exactly. any player and like i don't know tips out if anyone's watching classic videos tips out actually he doesn't have a ton of followers, like he gets to like four to seven thousand views on his videos, but what he says is actually usually really good. Not in the sense that he makes amazing points, but he does make some really good points, but mostly the way he just opens up the discussion and looks at the thing and 
I don't know. He's a good person. If you guys are interested in watching any classic WoW sort of video type things, he's a good person to watch for that because he really brings up a lot of that kind of stuff. He's quitting now. Huh? Message received. He's quitting making videos now. He, he quit it? Oh. Yeah. He lost his job, so he's got to focus on work. Or he could focus on making his videos. Branch into different games. Stream on Twitch. Yeah, I guess he's not really. If he's gonna niche himself to classic WoW, you're not gonna get many followers until that game's out. Message oh, well, that's received. too bad then. Uh, we don't know the people we've 100% lost because some Far people are showing up. Like we we thought we 100% lost you to be. Well, I I did. I didn't think you were coming back. So like, people just keep popping up out of like Timster's back. Uh, Malar came came back. Message received. Yeah, exactly. So there's lots of people are doing real life stuff that just aren't kind of like keeping coming touch or with saying us anything. on here or coming in team speak. So whether they come back from class and get announced, you know, like still no word on when it's projected. Well, no, nothing other than just speculation and potentially. Moron wasn't here for the beginning of it. He just got here. So, yeah. So other than just the speculation and the potential leaks with the data mind of Battle for Azeroth with it being an option in the game. Could be released around that time. Uh, a lot of that makes sense. Like honestly, I was talking about it with Tanny and Pro earlier. And I, I just riffing with it. it. It sounded like it made a lot of sense to me for them to release it then, because everyone keeps talking about why would you release a game to compete with another game? When do you release it? Do you release it in this lull so it doesn't compete with this? But it makes more sense if you just say the classic game is in the Battle for Azeroth. So people who want to play Battle for Azeroth buy Battle for Azeroth and get a subscription. The people who want to play Classic WoW. WoW buy Battle for Azeroth and get a subscription and it to them it just it's just a game just doing amazing and the descriptions go up but it's two different games essentially people are playing different options so it just looks like it's a server option but that means mm -hmm. it could have the same release date as Battle for Azeroth so that would be cool the release of that would be cool the message just received all of it just being that way would be really sweet and just be able just to play and that means the Kronos we'd be able to get to basically finish Doing molten core black and layer again. <laughs> Woo what <clears throat> game are you running around in circles on right now, Michael? Uh, none actually. Wow. Oh, I'm in no. I'm in no game right now. I was. Are you running around on... in your living room? <laughs> Jumping. Uh, no, I'm kind of rocking back and forth in my chair though. <laughs> Playing with the fidget spinner. Yeah, it's mostly rocking. Got to. Blizzard said the classic will come out no matter what the result is. Like, no matter if 10 people decide to play it or a million people. Yeah, a lot of those questions, like, if you watch his original interview after they did the video, he specifically states what Proto said, like, answering that exact question that they And is there going to be multiple matter. servers? Huh? Probably. Servers, of course. Yeah. There, I can guarantee they're not going to put. I, I, you're, you're looking at, at minimum a million players are going to come to just try classic. Wow. At, well, just look minimum. at the private server community. Like, so have we decided like the which wow. server we would go to? Like, there's, what, there's, no, there's, there's no, there's no, no names out. Any server, no, so there's no really names can't... out. But as in a like region-based type of well, thing. Well, that's why we. If you go, if did you go to the slideshow that we have going on? Nope. Okay, if you could just link on that. But the slideshow, if you go to the third one, and you look Message at the top received. left of the third picture on there, it shows what the time zones we've asked everyone when they're in. And essentially we're going to go with what the majority, or what, what works best with the mass majority. So that doesn't just mean, okay, it says 10 Eastern, so we're playing Eastern. That There's also 8 West Coast, and there's 7 Central. So realistically, to benefit the West Coast, the East Coast, essentially we more beneficial to go more central like i'm eastern so that doesn't benefit me specifically but it does benefit the west coast people and the central more than you know just go east coast or just go west coast so now that's even assuming that they have it divided up like that they might just have us as you know they might not have the actual time zone regions like they had in classic 
I can I can see them pretty much integrating most of that kind of same stuff. It'll it, you'll be able to pick. They'll have their Australian dedicated servers. I, I'm pretty sure they'll, everything will be because it's like I said, it's a server option of Battle for Az. If in that mindset of it being a server option for Battle for Azeroth, I'm sure it's going to come with all that stuff. You can pick your your server, your your realm. Obviously, certain regions probably will have less or maybe won't have one, but. I, I can see it being, or at least to be able to ping the server and find out where that server is hosted. So, I'll probably just host it. Alright, so if Pro can host the classic WoW server for us, that'd be great. Private question. Yeah. Uh, nope, I lost it. Oh no, is is our is our website going to be application ready by the time we hit Kronos? That's the goal. Um, so, uh, hold on, I'm missing something. What is this, this Chronos 3 stuff about? Oh my gosh. You should, you should show up the to the meetings on I time. Know a meeting. Stop it. Or in every the announcement? first Wednesday of oh the month. God. Oh so, my god. First I've heard of this. Basically, <laughs> this is news to me. Chronos 3. As you can imagine, is another vanilla server from Kronos. <laughs> there's some information there for explaining that. So there's talking points. So the world buffs. There's no world buffs allowed inside the raids for the first month after the release. Um, they where the fuck? They have the debuff slot. They're starting at the beginning for that. So they're releasing Chronos 3? Yeah, on the 31st. No, it's a joke. It's an April Fool's joke. <laughs> so, well, I mean, it's pretty much, we're it almost did. Right One more day and it would have been April Fool's. It'd be April Fool's in, uh, uh like, Europe. So I'm guessing everyone's gonna go play Chronos 3 until retail? Well, that's... My Maybe. plan and the majority majority of the people at least in here is plan received. to do. Uh, we're gonna be playing Horde. Uh, we're gonna be doing Horde in retail, so we might as well just get used to that. Message received. It's not even a question anymore if we're playing Horde or not. Um. Yeah, and take the server however you want. Like if you want to practice. If you want to, if you're like, do I want to play a warrior or do I want to play a priest or do I want to play a mage? Use this to help you decide. Um, Message a big received. chunk of it is going to one to sixty, but at the end of the day, like, you gotta remember that, like, while getting to sixty is hard. You know, once we're there, like, there's gonna be Message at received. least in classic WoW, it's Message gonna be received. multiple months or years of received. progression in the rating environment where you're not leveling message received so even if you're like oh i hate leveling this tune or this person you know in the grand scheme of things that's going to be a tiny portion of your actual playing is the leveling message received but anyhow so it's going to be i mean we'll we'll see how it is we're we're planning on kind of going a little hard on it but obviously we still don't want to burn ourselves out on vanilla general which i don't know is possible for some of us i'm gonna go hard on leveling i don't think i'll be going hard or expecting people to go hard rating last dean disconnected yeah. from your channel diablo 3 from the server like but i was again, even we'll thinking for some raids oh, like shit, Mike. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. I would like to do proper recruiting, though. Uh, get used to the idea. It's not a time uh, server, right? No. It's not a what? No, it's a times okay. one server. I was also thinking, like, Mike, it'd be. You remember a couple of those times where we were like, oh, let's just log out in BWO and come back tomorrow. I'm already here. Yeah. Like, that wouldn't even be a bad idea for, like, if you're not doing anything else. Just like, okay, see you tomorrow. Message received. Mm -hmm. Message received.
Yeah, like I agree it should be fun, but every time we tell people just to have fun and play whatever they want, then everyone decides that they want to start taking it serious. Like each time we've done this, every time people are like, well, we should actually just like actually start raiding. And then we're like, well, we don't have the right classes because 26 people rolled a tank. And so it's like... Message received. And I'm the only healer. I, I agree. I'm down <laughs> with doing some more serious PvP than anything. Really getting to understand how to do it properly and... Getting GSO. Well, I was initially I mean, saying. I spent all of our days in Red Ridge, bonking level 23s. Oh, oh. Yeah, and that's oh. the thing. I want to run <laughs> AV pre -mates. I want to run Warsong pre -mates. Like I want. I can actually understand how. And I want to know what work. to do, what the proper thing is, and how to understand, like, to do it properly. Because it's never been something I've really taken much care in in WoW, pretty much the entire time. Um, yeah, because classic is not going to be like. I guess it's going to be different in that standpoint where you're like, well, shoot, I actually do want to push rank ten because I'm not on a private server. And I don't have to worry about it all being for a waste. And, and the I want to be the best. Might not be on the server. They might be on their own server. Mm -hmm. That was the one thing I thought might be a pretty sweet thing, like realistically, like the server. I want PvP. If we pick the right time zone, the server really should have basically times where the server goes to sleep, essentially. Message received. And everyone's, for the most part, in bed, so the people that, you know, decide to no lay up in a couple nights, farming will be a thing that's much more, like, though, during peak times, you're gonna, there's going to be tons of people on, but if you come on during those obscure times, like hop on early in the morning, or something like that, you're going to be able to farm, be able to do things that normally, like, the Chinese are just swamping, or the Europeans are on now. We're not going to have that. But we'll have to, like, see when it comes out, like, what we actually want to do. So I'm sure you might get that itch to more focus on raids or... But I, I think we should use it as a tool for really getting better at PvP, since a lot of us are, like, like in the standpoint of, like, well, shoot, I don't need to PvP to be good at raids. I'm good at PvP. I play Warlock and a Shaman. Mm -hmm. Hit one button. Well, just like knowing other classes' cooldowns and what they're bound to, you know, pop or what they have already popped. It's all good. And th and that will help us for world bosses, which is something yeah. that we want to b make sure that we're able to do. If we're good at PvP, we can definitely be good at world bosses. And if we're known for being good at PvP, Gil's willing to fuck with us. We're like, oh, well, that's toxic. Screw it, we'll try next time. Well, that's exactly, that's what I would like to be on the server just in general. I would like people to see our guild and it be, you know, respected. Which also means that um, when we do have our class leaders and stuff like that, I'm going to be expecting the class leaders to make sure that they're their class is basically message received you know being respectful for the most part outside of the game and stuff like that well not of the game but outside of our raids and stuff and message making received. our guild look good at all times no just to toxic will be the name like we're gonna make sure that's also a priority is right at the, right off the hop once the game does come out same with chronos the same thing we'll be doing practicing that initial start to, to as fast as we can to get a person up and able to get us the guild charter assigned and the guild established immediately so our name is not an issue. Um, I'm going to move us on. The last thing Message that I really received. want to talk about was uh, our ranks in the guild. Something we've been toying with for the last couple of months or even years has been having like an elevated raider rank, which basically their performance and attendance and like a reason that they're at a higher rank than others uh, now what sort of perks go into that if any is the real question because i think it would be generally it would be a good thing um but at the end of the day also like from a standpoint of everyone pulls their own weight well 
at what point is everyone at that rank? And then it's like, what's the point of having that rank? Or, or it might be like, hey, you're a really good player. You meet all these qualifications. We can put you at that rank and like kind of check mark. So we don't have to like necessarily like received. worry too much about you because we know you're always gonna be doing like you're the top that you can be doing. I mean that can be a hidden rank among the officers too, like something we put in their note. Until somebody starts whining, why is he getting that over me? Mm -hmm. We have to tell him anyways. Yeah, I would rather, yeah, anything we do, make sure that everyone knows what's going on and is aware of that the whole time. Same with Message all of our loot. Everything needs to be kind of cut and paste with what's going on with loot. Yeah. Um, Has there been discussion about how loot's going to go? Is going to be PKP? Yeah, we made a decision that if you're playing with us, you won't get anything. Sweet. I love until not getting anything. Until you buy your items. Yeah, unless you buy your items. <laughs> Fuck yeah, I'm buying everything. TV yeah, server. jerk, tell him to buy his items. Yeah, once you get your TV, once you come in and give us all the buffs that we request, then we will give you some loot on Classify. It's DKP, uh, it's, yeah. loot priority. I don't know gave buffs. It's basically everything. It's a complete Except hybrid. For Trisha. It's going to be DKP for the basics, Furious and then it's going to be you. a loot council style, uh, along with other sort of things contributing to the loot council's decision as for certain items. But all those items will be told in advance that they will be loot counseled. Uh, they'll still come with a DKP, and I've I've been open to the idea of somebody being able to go negative, uh, meaning that they don't necessarily not meaning that they should exploit it. If we feel like they're exploiting it, we just will pass them up on the loot. Um, well, it's being loot counseled, but that they shouldn't feel that they can't get a really good piece from something uh, because they have to save this DKP, so they have to pass this good upgrade for them just so they can get this item uh, if it's one of the loot council items then even if that person doesn't have enough dkp for what we feel that item is base worth i, I still think they'll they should just go negative for the item and <laughs> they because they deserve the item that it's not going to be a, a popularity thing either um we we talked about it the one day but we'll obviously go into it with more depth but Message there's going to be a series of things that they need maybe to... we'll talk about it next meeting yeah next um, one we can talk more about loot and, and actually everything. have Maybe come up with a, you know, these ten items or whatever, these fifteen items, and how oh, actually and, and no because to, I'm just answering Jerk's question at the bottom. There's no way to stop DKP hoarding. Like we can have like, um, like what's the diminishing returns or whatever. Once you have an X amount, because I don't like them losing DKP, but I wouldn't mind the idea of like. Once you hit a certain threshold of say three, we'll just say an arbitrary number of three hundred. Once you get to three hundred, instead of receiving thirty-five DKP from the raid, you'd receive fifteen or something or right. something like that. But also, like I think what Jerk is saying is, I'm scooting by with my crap gear because I'm saving for one specific item, Message received. and I'm not taking Message received. like I'm not even bidding on other items that are going for minimum. Is well, that fair? Well, that's why I literally just said about, well, if people aren't passing on things that are amazing upgrades, then that's their own choice. Like, but I'm talking like if there's something that's a big ticket piece, most likely it'd be loot council. So they shouldn't have to feel that need to save up for that CTS to drop because DKP is going to be irrelevant. We're going to be loot counseling it anyway. Because Heracles has more than them. Yeah, so uh, if that's just not going to happen. So people will be already more Let's likely to, to drop their DKP yes. on the I don't want to hear about your crossbow, Orin. Epic's coming There's going to be like four Message fucking received. hunters. Yeah, I just looked at that. That's fucking stupid. Uh, I okay. think that along. Mage main 100%. That <laughs> along with the potential of. I, I actually. You already 100%ed on the poll that you were going to hunter, so you've already Fuck set that. yourself not... in stone. I'm. Nope. <laughs> what? I'm going okay. back. What what are are you gonna I revoke my 100%. Mage 100%. Do it. Okay. There's zero mages. Are you actually gonna play? Yeah, for real. Not just show up and drop sure. the PUBG channel? Um, I play WoW. Are you kidding? Okay. Message received. Retail's my jam, bro. I really hated everything else. Not playing I mean, retail. not retail. We're vanilla. Vanilla. Classic. Vanilla is my jam. Yeah, the idea behind 
um, all of this is that we, uh, like, you might be thinking, okay, you know, it's a year out or however long out. Aren't you guys, like, you know, doing a little too much right now? Well, the idea is that we get all of this on the table. And then for the application process, everything is, like, laid out so there's no, like, funny business and, and, uh, People are like, oh. Been over -prepared. I vote that Pro has to apply. Yeah, I'm going to. And I will approve myself. But yeah. Message Definitely received. next meeting. It could be more about loot and things like that and DKP Message systems. Message received. And all that jazz. Well, yeah, exactly, Jerk. I was or that's already part of my my new regime that's going to be coming in. Is everything that I did, basic, everything that I did in my old guild of Mortal Dream will, I'll try and implement all of that there. Which is basically the officers will spend time after raids going over logs, going over recruits, talking about basically everything. Nick, that's... you're going to go to bed after every raid. I used to stay up almost six hours all after time. every raid. Message so received. So we'll be going over logs, going over, not obviously everyone's Message logs, received. but if there was anything that any officer noticed that night that was an issue, it'd be addressed right after that raid immediately, so that the next raid, be, well that's also because I was raiding six days a week, sometimes seven, but it would basically mean that the next raid going in, the problem was already fixed and addressed, not when we got to raid seven hours into raid. It was already fixed and done before we got there. And either that meant that player was changed his rotation or had to, you know, sit out the fight or whatever, or was completely just replaced. You know, that was all decided long before the next day. And that person was told before the raid while he was online to, to face pro. But yeah, I can deal with all, I don't mind doing all that kind of stuff when it comes yeah. to people from the guild and stuff. Or not removing them, but from demoting them, I, I have no problem doing that because it's really not that hard. Because we're gonna make it so that we shouldn't feel bad because the application itself is gonna be so straightforward that if they agree to everything, which they're gonna have to agree to, and then they don't meet that agreement, it's gonna be simple as you did not you meet this agreement. You signed the contract, so and that's and that's how it was done, how I used to do it before, and that's why you don't feel bad about it because it's not a popularity contest which Message for some received. people that's going to be a rude awakening when you get sat like maybe not anybody in this channel but any person that we may have played with before if they get sat because there's a better player that's going to happen like it's going to be your every person is going to earn their position you're not just getting your position just because we know you and that might be shitty for some people and but that will be what the alt raise for for Message friends received. and family and stuff to fill those 15 extra spots that the main raider alts aren't on, basically. But yeah. But yeah, so there'll be some changes with that. That's if people all want to go the hardcore route, which I really hope they do. Uh, I know it's not for everyone, and I'm sure that will deter some people away immediately. Um, but it'll also bring Message received. Uh, a completely different style raid to people, something that people probably have never got to experience, which is uh in my opinion the best play way to play this game is with a whole group of people like-minded players who just want to excel at the game yeah the raid is completely different um the style of raiding is completely different um the enjoyment you get a raid is completely different you, you don't have those nights of of just frustration of of just people just being shit like that's just not a thing that happens it, your only thing that will happen is if a boss is mechanically not working properly or or it's just a really tough, you know, gear check or something like that. It, it, it'll be true progression when it needs to happen, and it it'll be smooth be rating. Babu. Yeah, and there'll be none of there'll be none of that. Like people are gonna have fun. You'll actually notice you'll have more fun in that kind of raid. It's not like everyone's quiet and everyone's just focused. It's actually everyone knows what they need to be doing, and it's being done. So you don't. The need only to time be it'll get quiet is when it's serious. People are being stupid and yeah. you realize I might get one shot. Well, that kind of that now those things aren't going to happen like unless it's a a true one shot or the raid like melee people dying on certain things isn't going to happen like a lot of things are going to be taken much more serious healing tanking DPS everything people's classes are going to be doing what they're supposed to do at the right time or we're going to know I'm I'm under the impression World of Logs is going to be a thing 
in Classic WoW, if it's part of the Battle for Azeroth, they won't see how it won't be able to be logged the way it was logged. So if that's a thing, there should be absolutely no reason why I can't basically go and break down your exact rotation and figure out exactly what you did wrong. And if you say you didn't do it kind of thing, like I can, I can show you right there that you did it. I can live log you. I can literally show you where you were standing at the exact moment on the fight when you died. Like, what you got hit by, where you were standing, where you should have been, everything. Like, were you decursing on this fight? No, you didn't decurse at all. What did you do? Okay, you just sat there and cast Frostbolt. Okay, cool. I can bring that next mage the next time that says he will decurse, kind of thing. It'll be, it'll be simple things like that. And people will appreciate it. A lot of people will think it's intimidating. They'll find they, they like that structure way more. And then raid nights end a lot earlier all the time because content is cleared. Instead of raid nights going over time. Message received. My, I got quiet. Well, because no one had any other questions. Mm, well, so Jerk is thinking. Everyone out. fell asleep. Terry. When are you going to play, Terry? Fortnite. What? <laughs> Was that Vic? He's only coming out of, like, the back left headphone. I heard that too. That really too. threw me off. It was, like, <laughs> really in the background, like, <laughs> Message received. Message received. Message received. <laughs> like that one with under tankers. It did go really well once the officer off, once the toxic officers were running it. Who? This Who's is that? my raid. Who's that one hundred percent sure uh, shaman healer on the second third tab? Get to him. One hundred percent. One hundred. Vic, where are you? Are you in my garage? I told this is you. This only my left headphone. <laughs> the left back of my headphone. Oh, fuck. Where are <laughs> you? Flanked me. Somebody I'll flank it again. I don't know. I gotta un pull something out. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> pull it out, please. It's hurting my ear. Jesus. Please pull it out. Uh. Message received. We got Mike. I didn't hear Terry say what he's gonna play. Fortnite. You're playing Fortnite? Yeah, that's what I'm maining. You're a gay little fat rapist. Who are the tanks? Because there's three people that are 100% sure. 
Message received. Has anyone heard from Viral lately since he moved? Text viral, but can't text me. Message received. You weren't moving from an island to not an island. Message received. Like on the other side of the world, okay? That's just an excuse. Didn't you move from like Haiti? Puerto Rico. <laughs> Mm. Oh yeah, tanking, tanking. Like when it comes to loot, attitude, how it's gonna be run. That's all gonna be completely separate from the other stuff. I got my own rules for you guys. <laughs> You're gonna have to bring like, like hundreds of not letting week. me die. Yeah. Is that one of the rules? Uh, well, not just you, but ev every everyone. Uh, it'll be there's lots of rules. I started writing them, um, but they're gonna have to agree to that upon like if if a warrior tank applies to the guild or even the viral jerk or any person that says they 100% want to do it, they'll have to agree to that. If they don't want to agree to it, exactly every single rule there, then um, they're they're just not gonna tank. It's as simple as that. What? They have to use taunt. Taunt will be on the bar. Message yes. received. Communicate. Oh yeah, speak. yeah, that's already stuff, jerk. Every single person will be running the exact same add-ons. We'll be all under the exact same. Um, we'll have the same understanding going into Message each fight. Received. We'll have our own channel. Message received. I'm probably going to set up our own binding to talk to each other so that we can set up pulls and stuff without talking over every other person. Uh, there's there's going to be lots of things, but the tanking thing is going to be smooth, and it's not going to be a forever setup. Um, we're all... One little rule that I thought for raid that would be really nice is all of us will have assist, and all of us will have our own marker that we have assigned for ourselves, and we put our marker on our target because we know our targets, and marking will be done immediately. You'll have your target assigned in essentially immediately because you know your target, and it's not going to be, okay, well, the raid leader, the main tank needs to set a target. You know your targets. I all, like all the that. tanks are going to be an idea. the main tanks. I like that a lot. What if we have a... Set number of ready checks we're allowed to use in the raid. Yeah, well, I'm looking for a three to four ready checks. If is that purple? Is that how many you're looking is for? Are we looking for three to four? Is that enough? Like purple or purple? Purple. Message. I don't received. know if that's gonna be enough. Yeah, you're gonna have to let the healers know that you're pulling. So Message it's be received. Like a thousand ready checks tonight. Message received. Message received. Well, I get a drink during loot. The thing is, people should be, walk. if you know that you're coming up to a boss. You message shouldn't received. be going AFK, and if you do, you should be saying something to somebody. Like, again, this is going to be one of the rules, and I, I really, if if our raid times don't change, as in we still raid three hours, I can't see a validation unless somebody's got like a medical problem or, or like they, you know, if they have to come take a quick piss or something. Like, I get that, but like people that. I, honestly, I'm just not going to permit AFKing at all in the raid. It's three hours. It's it's not hard to sit there and focus for, for three received. hours. It's really, there's... Message received. Yeah, if you want to say, yeah, we can have a set break or something an hour and a half in and raid for three hours and five minutes, whatever. Like, I, honestly, I, I really do think for proper progression, we need to put three hours into the actual content, and that means actually the content, not 
two and a half hours with 30 minutes of AFK or 30 minutes of whatever we do before a boss, like that talking was... through a, something that everyone should know about. And that's going to be the other thing. Like, Message received. Molten Core, Blackened Layer, provided, you know, they don't go pull a fast one and, and change mechanics and do weird shit. If the game is the game it was, there's no reason that the understanding of what's going to happen on every boss, all of our add-ons, like not add-ons, but all our macros we do, like these targets on these targets, that should will be done before the first raid. Like it's not, we're not going to sign it at the time. It, everything will for and then we're going to help i'm going to help you with that that's that's not going to be something you're doing on your own that's going to be every officer of their class will be well an officer it's going to be different again i want there to be class leaders and i want there to be a gm so pro will be the guild master as per usual and then everyone else will be a class leader that includes myself that doesn't mean i'm an officer i will be the class leader of my class and respective class so whether that means that some people might not be a class leader anymore, Message might not received. be an officer, doesn't mean that they don't have input. It doesn't mean that they're not going to be the same Message or whatever, received. but it, it's not necessary to have multiple people Message of received. the same roles doing stuff. So that will come at the time of it as well. And now that, again, that doesn't mean that we're not going to have another rank or it doesn't mean that Message we don't feel that people should have input in the Message officer received. chat. Yeah, they'll... they'll yeah, it'll be like your class. Message leader. sent. Yeah, they'll be spec. Like, I'm not going to be dealing with the other DPS warriors. The GSO will be handling his DPS warriors. I'll be handling the tank warriors. So when there's splits like that, there'll be splits. I think that's the only class really that has that, though. What about uh, Derp? Is the only Shadow Priest? I was just thinking Derp's uh, going to be Holy Pally and Reptalian. Yeah, Holy Pally and Reptalian. Yeah, yeah. Terry's Reptalian. If Terry's Rat Paladin on the Horde side, he can group him with whatever. Uh, but other than that, there will be a class leader for each class, and that person is going to have actual responsibilities and has no more benefit than anybody else in that thing, which means that they're not, there's Message no priority received. to believe, there's no nothing. But that means that they have more rule in the sense that they will make decisions for their class, and that means sitting people of their class. That means that I'm not going to have to received. sit there and say... I need a mage to sit out loud. It's going to be an officer. I'm going to say, I need a mage to sit. And then that class leader is going to tell me, this person's going to sit, this person's going to come in, or whatever is the case. And it'll be straightforward, simple like that. And they're going to handle their class, and their class needs to be on the same page, basically, the whole time. So if I say, I need three mages on this fight, it's not, oh, we need to figure out, blah, blah, blah. It's, okay, here's the three mages that are going to be on in this fight. And you need to deal with your class. So that is why I think Pro put it in the slideshow. There's going to be application for being a class leader. Not only We've always kind of done it like the people that want to be in the leadership role are the, the worst people to have in leadership role. But same sometimes when we promote people, we promote them either too fast Message or received. for the wrong reason or whatever. Or they don't really want to do the job to what we want them to do. And that's pointless. So this time around... I would like it to be where the person doing the job actually does the job and wants to do the job and does the job properly, or they're not going to do the job, and it'll be just that, that straightforward. Yeah, we used to just promote people because we liked them and they were good at their class. Well, yeah, and that's not going to be enough Sometimes anymore. They they're going to actually. Class. Where's the music coming from? It's oh, all, it's all my it. screen. Hold on, I need to get this music on. Ah, that's so much better. No, the rule is main spec is always over off spec. There may, for some crazy reason, come like a reason to switch it, but if that ever happens, that'll be something that I like call. Yeah, and next next night when we talk about loot, we'll talk about Thunder Furies and stuff too. Because I I have uh, opinions about the how the Thunder Furies you know, I'm saying Thunder Furies and how we might go about trying to achieve that and who I not necessarily who as in their name but who as in the class or spec or whatever who will receive the Thunder Furies. <laughs> you know what I'm about to say. Here. Uh, go ahead. What are you gonna say? 
I think you're going to say, give it to the T's first. Timster, then Terry, then Tvik. Tvik? Tvik. Um, Message received. My opinion, like, we, we can definitely put more talk. Like, I, I should be going to bed. I, I got to go pick up my, my sick cat early tomorrow morning from the hospital. So I should be Message going to bed. Message received. But I, I'll end on this kind of thing. Like, my opinion on the Thunder Furies is the first two Thunder Furies and... This doesn't mean the first two that drop in our main raid. Uh, there's going to be systems that we're going to try and do to make it so there's more chances, but I believe the first two should be going to the tanks, as that is going to be way more beneficial going down further. The third one is going to a warrior, and it most likely is going to be the top warrior DPS. We'll get it. GSO. It may, I, again, I don't put names on it, because it, I I'm going to be the main tank but that doesn't necessarily even mean i'm going to be the best tank and if i find that somebody is doing something or can do better than i am doing overall i have no problem letting somebody else be the main tank and if that means that that person gets the thunder fury first then so be it the fir the main tank is going to get the thunder fury first and it's going to be the best performing tank the person who is basically putting in the most effort so if that ends up being me uh, I'm going to try it for it to be me, so be it, but the first two are going to go to the tanks, at least in my opinion, Message we can talk about this worked out. The third one, I think, is, I'm being extremely over, no, dude, trust me, way over missed it, overestimated the drops, we may never even get one, but in the event, I would like to see the first two go to the tanks, and then the third one going to the top warrior DPS on the speculation that that warrior, if need be, would like tank if we needed to and help tank at some point, but would never be spec to. But just that is the reasoning, my rationale as to why it should go to a warrior and not say a rogue or something like that. Uh, mostly just because if it goes to a rogue, it's basically only gonna ever be able to use as a tank or as a DPS weapon. Whereas if it goes to a warrior, there's an option of getting him to tank with it. What which about would be way more, more beneficial than that. If we ever got into a, a pally tank thing again. Oh, well we're playing Horde, so. Oh, that's right. They're gonna happen. I'm thinking our past. Never mind. Flappers disconnected yeah. from the server. Um, and obviously, people are gonna have their opinions and how they feel about it. That's just how I feel about it. We can definitely talk about it more and figure it all out. And how we're gonna go about it was basically people would be either it meaning like so, say I have the Thunder Fury. I can either have I don't tank the MC in our main raid. And I go tank the alt raid or our second tank doesn't tank the MC Message and goes does the alt raid or if they have a binding or who we have you know we mix it around so that the the three people essentially that is basically decided on who's going to get it works around a system so that those three people have the best chance to s achieve it if that's if it's going to happen and like timster said the chances of us getting one might not even happen but that's why I saw I bring it up. That's how I felt. If people don't like that or, you know, don't have opinion, the only people I'm really going to listen to are the people that can actually use the item, though. The people that, that have no eligibility towards the weapon anyways. I, Your opinion, that that's great and all, but really, it doesn't really matter what you think because you're not going to get upset about it if you don't get it because you were never going to get it. So I would rather it be about the people who are actually eligible for that item to talk about it and see how they feel. But I think everyone can agree the first one should at least go to the, the, the main tank. I, I think everyone can agree on that. Crickets. Anyhow. Yeah, they're like, nope, nope, let's go over to the hunter. Uh, Sulfurus, we'll have to discuss too, but Message more than likely are... Well... Right. I'm going Rep Pally, it's happening. Shaman okay, Offspec or Warrior. warrior. Killed. Um, <laughs> on the Horde side, it's a pretty decent two-hand weapon for main as well but also either way it should be like whoever goes to should be like a big time pvp or it shouldn't just go to someone who's just gonna sit on it and it's gonna be pretty and, and they, they have to it, have like, the means to complete it and are actually going to complete it and mm -hmm. Not that we can really forcibly enforce that but it would be well oh, 50 arcanite bars and yeah. the, I mean, uh, that's another thing is like the ingots typically would sell for about a thousand gold oh, yeah, each. Sure, sure. So, like for the guild, if we say you're getting 
like the Solfrion, it's 8,000 gold worth of ingots as well. We already have a lot of priorities already done. Yeah, the priority list is, is done um, up through AQ. Obviously, we need to revisit it just to revisit ensure things. Yeah. We'll do that next meeting. We'll go over that. That could be the first thing we do is revisiting the loot and Message going over received. it. That'll take the most of the time. I'm sorry, I was coughing. Anyways, I, I have to go. That was a cool meeting. It was nice seeing a few people that haven't been on the last few meetings. And oh, hope to see some God. more people next time. Or on next time. Just, uh, same yep, time. Bird. Yep, got it. I mean, got it. <laughs> Message received. Can I send the meeting, Pearl? You guys can keep chatting. I just have to go. Message received. Uh, we're periodically playing PUBG. We've been playing a lot of Diablo 3. Um, Message received. Minecraft. Barbecue does hilarious. Message received. But there's other things that we want to get into, like Freddie was saying, Ark would be a fun one. I know we have a few people that actually want to play that, and I think that would be fun, like a newish game all play together. It's a dinosaur game. Message received. Did you just say Ark? Yeah. You really no, just we're Ark. not. We're not gonna meta game PvP bullshit like you on the on the mainstream servers. It's a it would be like the the private server on Randy's server. You missed that conversation. <laughs> We're not playing public servers. Damn it! It's not the point. Bring back the wolf pack. Oh fuck that! I we weren't Message part of the received. wolf pack. We have wolf no pack. idea who that is. Oh, you will find out. If I you don't care me. who it is. I don't like. I don't like that version of the game. The most dominant tribe on all of Ark. Look for the brown guy in a banana hammock and a pointy stick. 